What is up, everybody? How are we doing, folks? How are we doing? Happy Friday to everyone here. Happy, happy Friday. All right, folks, so we got several breaks ready to rock and roll. So, we are going to start everything off shortly, folks. <sighs> Sneeze. All right. So basketball will be the first break that we do, folks, so you guys know. Basketball. All right, so we are going to do one of our first basketball breaks in God knows how long. That'll be exciting.
All right. So give me a few minutes, folks. All right, so who's in the room and who's excited for basketball? Let's do it. Yeah, we have a five minute four start to random. And I posted up a second one, folks. As I said, this stuff, uh, is good, 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 good. What's up, Tyler? How you doing? going today. I said I'm excited for basketball. I don't know crazy amount on the rookies, to be completely honest with you, but I do know I know Ja, I know Zion, I know Kobe White, RJ Barrett, uh, Reddish, Washington Jr. I'm trying to remember who else was the big rookies. Yeah, uh, Harrow. Davis Jr., right? Isn't he? That's the uh, the Raptor, right? Terrence Davis Jr.? Or am I thinking of someone else? Sweet. Well, from some of the stuff I've seen on uh, Black, it is beautiful cards. And there's some big value in these uh, in these items. So considering what you could get, um, keep in mind, folks, we will be able to do probably a couple more of these. But unfortunately, it's not hockey, which means that once it's gone, my restocking ability is pretty much next to nothing. So all I ask is that you guys be aware of that. So while we have this stuff in stock, I highly recommend let's get it going. All right, well, I'm going to do the random for the basketball break so we can start it right on time. All right, so best of luck, 12,558. And then we will do, uh, if you guys pull the other one, we'll do that one right after. Like tonight sometime. Here we go, 12,558, everything three times. Here's all the names. One, two, three. Copy. Paste. One, two, three. Copy. Paste. The next goes to J Cam. The Reels got Denver. Dave's got Dallas. Elbows Minnesota. Jesse's got Sacramento. J Cam Miami. Elbows Portland. Warlock Brooklyn. Swamp's got Charlotte. 
Warlock, the Lakers. Hero Star, Cleveland. Jesse's got Atlanta. Warlock, Oklahoma. Derek's got Detroit. Makers got the Clippers. Derek's got Milwaukee. Makers got Memphis. Snow's got the Pelicans. Reels got Houston. D. Garwood's got Golden State. Swamp, Boston. Warlock, Chicago. Snow, Phoenix. Dave's got Washington. Garwood's Utah. Jesse's got Indiana. Garwood's got the Raptors. Jesse, Philly. Euro, Orlando. And Garwood, San Antonio. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, again, five minutes for trading. We do have another one of these up. Take advantage of them while we have them. They're going to be super fun. So five minutes for trading. And also, just in case anyone wants to finish it off, we have only three to go in the Matthews Chancer. It has a Matthews, a Makar, a Doc, a Kubalik, and a Hughes 99 all there. All right, so I don't know if anyone's going to be doing trading. I don't know how much people know about this stuff. But, man, some of the cards I've seen out of this are beautiful. And, holy gee, some of the sale values I've seen, insane. So I'm excited to see what we're going to get out of it. And uh, so I'm excited to see if we can fill a couple more of these bad boys tonight. Might as well while I have it. All right. And Kyle, thanks for dropping off those cards today or whatever it was, by the way. Customers thrilled. Thrilled about that. So it's always nice to help other collectors. And by the way, Statures filled. The three box Mega Blasters filled. Uh, Chancers at three left. The Zion's almost half filled, which is great. And Black is now at eight. So we are trucking along nicely on all the breaks, folks. And as stated, these double ups, uh, I think we'll have maybe two more to do after this one. So while uh, we have them, I do recommend enjoying them, to be honest. Because it's not like this is going to be something that we can just replenish at any point. All right, but I am going to start the first break, so best of luck. If I say any names wrong, guys, I do apologize. You guys know I'm going to do my best, but I apologize in advance if I butcher any names, so good luck, everybody. It's so tiny, these boxes. Here we go, starting off CNC break 12,558. We have the Black Basketball. I think they're so tiny. We've got a Jaron Jackson Jr. for the Memphis Grizzlies. 149. I'm going to see if I can just go nice and slow for you guys on these. Beautiful cards there. So Memphis. We've got for the Golden State Warriors, the 149 rookie, Jordan Poole. And again, if I say any names wrong, if you guys please could correct me just so I can uh, get it done correctly, please. 
if I do say anything, uh, any names wrong, Jordan Poole. From what I saw, the middle one is the best card, so I'm not going to do that one yet. We've got for the Raptors, number one of 65, Kyle Lowry. Beautiful. Out of 65, Kyle Lowry. And we've got for the Phoenix Suns, a DeAndre Ayton. Ayton. Again, I do apologize on names out of 65. Is it Ayton or Atten or Aton? Aton. And let's see what the first one. Ooh, I know that name. That's a good name. We've got a dual jersey patch auto rookie. For the Atlanta Hawks, number to 25, Cam Reddish. That's a decent one, isn't it? Out of 25, Jersey Patch Auto. And I know it's hard to see, but the jersey is slightly two colors. You guys can see his two tones there. Beautiful. All right. Nice stuff. This pack feels way thinner than the other one. We've got for the Golden State Warriors, Curry, number to 149. I love these cards. They're beautiful looking. Curry to 149. We've got a 149 for the Indiana Pacers of Malcolm Brogdon. Malcolm Brogdon. Again, I'll put this one aside. We've got number 65, Damian Lillard for the Portland Trail Blazers. Out of 65. I love the, uh, the design of these. Swirls make it very nice. Apparently, it doesn't even focus on it. Look at that. There we go. And we've got a rookie to 65 for the Indiana Pacers of Goga. Bid, bid, I'm going to need some help on this one. How do you say this guy's last name? Bidaz? Just stick with Goga. <laughs> I want to make sure I, I get it right. That's obviously to improve. We've got for the Oklahoma Thunder, number to 99, dual rookie Jersey Auto, Darius Baisley. OKC, Darius Baisley. There you go. All right, not too shabby, not too shabby. I'm going to take a picture of the, uh, of the one card. So what's the reddish go for out of curiosity? Maybe I'll look it up quickly. Not too hard to look those up. Oh, geez. The first one I see, 300 US. <laughs> Holy geez. If Cam Reddish out of 25 goes for 300, what the heck does Zion go for? My God, that's expensive. Man, that's insane money. All 
I'm not gonna lie, I did not think that Reddish was a three hundred dollar card, but apparently, what do I know about this stuff? That's three hundred US. It's four hundred Canadian. Jesus. All right, I'm gonna do the three box blaster mega. He was a top three pick. Okay. Is he is he doing what he's supposed to be doing, or is he? Like, not doing what he's supposed to be doing. Nope, he's not doing what he's supposed to be Okay. So what pick was Jaw then? Was he a high pick or was he a, a steal? I'm guessing in basketball there's not many steals, but... Oh, he was too? So hold on, was it Zion, Jaw, and Reddish? Was it all this year? All right, five, five, six. Good luck, everyone. Here we go. Twelve thousand five, five, six. Everything three times. One, two, three. Copy. Paste. One, two, three. Copy. Paste. Broussard's got Islanders. Perp's got St. Louis. Sass has LA. Sharon's got Tampa. Elbows, Ed Money. Wookie's got Pittsburgh. RB's got Philly. Mowbray's got Winnipeg. RB, Colorado. Derek's got Nashville. Keith, Montreal. Dirk's got Arizona and Buffalo. Garwood, Washington. RB, Ottawa, Detroit. Mowbray, Vancouver, Sharon, Carolina, Florida, RB, Boston, Derek's got San Jose, Broussard, San, sorry, Derek's got San Jose, Broussard's got Rangers, RB, Columbus, D. Garwood's got Chicago, Perp's got the Leafs, Elbows, Dallas, Sass has Calgary, Sharon, Anaheim, Keith, Minnesota, Wookie, New Jersey. RJ Barrett, one number three. Ah, yeah, I remember Barrett. All right. Hopefully we get a hopefully we get one of the top three. That'd be ideal. But so teams are launched in the thread, folks. Out of curiosity, what uh, what do the Zions out of 25 go for in this bad in that uh that we just got the reddish is it does anyone mind looking that up while i'm just doing some emails is that like a thousand plus card or So let me go grab the little box that I show here. I want to know what the Zions go for in uh, black, like the dual patch or whatever we got out of that one. I like knowing what kind of value we could get, the excitement of that. I always find that very fun.
My, my thinking is, is Cam Reddish sells for about 300 US. I'm presuming the Zions um, are pretty damn big. All right. Well, let me keep on uh, keep on going on the stuff. And again, I think we have one or two more of those blacks that we can do. By the way, I believe I can't remember what we had for orders stuff like that. So I will happily post. I think one more after this. Maybe save the other one for next week at some point. But let's start five five six. Good luck, everyone. Let's get a Matthews. Here we go, starting off CNC break number 12,556. We've got the three box Mega Blaster. For the Philadelphia Flyers, Travis Konechny. Konechny for the Philadelphia Flyers. Shining stars of Thomas Grice for the Islanders. Portrait of Seth Jones for the Blue Jackets. Canvas James Neal for the Preds. Young and Michael Matheson for the Panthers. Portrait of Sedin for the Canucks. Shining stars of Getzlaff for the Ducks. For the LA Kings game jersey, Drew Doughty. Drew Doughty, LA Kings. Base. Canvas of Boone Jenner for the Blue Jackets. And a Young Guns, Matthew Kachuk for the Calgary Flames. Nice young gun there. Base. And base. I'm going to do the parky pack at the end, by the way, just so you guys know. Also, is the basketball game not on tonight, or is it just late tonight it's on? They're playing the uh, Golden State game on TV, I see now. I'm guessing it's probably a later game or so the nine okay. Good to know, thank you, sir. Portrait of Tafoli for the LA Kings. Young Guns, Michael Matheson for the Panthers. Hopefully we get different Young Guns in this one. Not the same exact one. Portrait of Gallagher for the Montreal Canadiens. Young Guns, Canvas, Gustav Forsling. Chicago Blackhawks, Gustav Forsling, Canvas of Gibson for the Ducks, Young Guns for the Dallas Stars, S. Lindell, Bam. 
place. Shining Stars Rainbow for the Calgary Flames, John A. Goudreau. Young Guns, Travis Konechny. Not a bad name to get twice at least. Shining Stars of Giroux. Canvas of Dylan Larkin. And LaBase. We've got a portrait of Gosses Fair for the Flyers, Bergeron for the Boston Bruins, Canvas. Young Guns, Pavel Buchnevich for the Rangers. Base. Base. Nice. Young Guns. William Nylander for the Maple Leafs. William Nylander. Portrait of Crosby for the Penguins. Young Gun Steven Santini for the Devils. Shining Stars of Kuznetsov for the Caps. And we got a canvas of a Ginla for the Avalanche. Game jersey of Corey Schneider for the Devils. And the Parky Packs. We've got a Aho for the Canes. Matthews for the Maple Leafs. And a Provorov for the Philadelphia Flyers. For the Oilers, Paul U. Yarvey. Matthews for the Maple Leafs. Aho for the Canes. All right. A bad uh, combination to get if we keep doing that one. William Nylander for the Maple Leafs. Mitch Marner for the Maple Leafs. And a Kyle Connor for the Jets. There we go. Solid. All right, let me do some emails, folks. One minute. Those are, in my opinion, an incredible value item that we have. All right, let's see where we are.
All right. The Matthews has one spot left, just so you guys know. And now I'm going to do the stature. I think we can fill every break. All right, so going to do the random for stature, and we'll crush that one next. Every break, as it were, we have tons of fun breaks up there that you guys will enjoy, so let's keep crushing it. Here we go, 12,551, everything three times. One, two, three. Copy. Paste. One, two, three. Copy. Paste. J. Cam, Carolina. Ginger, Tampa. Staffy, Montreal. BB Ninja, Chicago. Ty's got New Jersey. Alex, Anaheim. Leezer's got Ottawa. Paul's got Philly. PJC, Washington. Max House, Minnesota. Tech, Toronto. BB Ninja, Nashville. Paul's got St. Louis. Ty's got Ed Money. Paul's got Detroit. Tech's got LA. PJ's got Pittsburgh. Derek's got Islanders, Winnipeg, Spencer, Buffalo, Ginger, Dallas, Staffy, Columbus, J. Cam, Rangers, Scott's got Calgary, Max, Florida, Scott, Colorado, Alex, San Jose, Paul, Vancouver, Spencer, Arizona, and Leezer, Boston. All right. The other thing I noticed today from what some other people told me, apparently our uh, premier random pricing was very aggressive. Not gonna lie, I don't really know why everyone else went so high on it, but I'm happy to report that we are pretty much one of the cheapest, if not the cheapest, on that. So I had quite a few people message me that our prices were uh, pretty much the best they saw on Premiere, which is. That generally indicates that everyone else is a lot higher than us, which is not a bad problem. I just don't really, like, I'll be honest, from my point of view, I don't really understand why we, we all paid the same price. So on this one specifically, I don't know why everyone else is that much higher than us, but it is what it is. Was it U.S. or Canadian, though, Tyler? Canadian. For a group break, though? Like a random, or are you talking about by box? Uh, on. Oh, random figure team. Well, I might have asked this hour. Is it a legit store, or was it, uh, is it like a Facebook breaker? The only reason I asked that is because Taxes do get incorporated for legit stores. Ah. So that's obviously, I'm guessing, where it makes sense. Two minutes left for trading and stature. Yeah, in terms of stores, like who actually we all buy from the same distributors. I, that's something I don't understand. Like I've heard some people say they've seen it at 54, 56, 57. I think someone said they saw 58. We pay the same price as they pay. How ours is 49 and others are 40, uh, 58. That literally is a $280 difference. Jesus. Yeah, Tyler, some breakers, I said, but good on them, right? Exactly as you said. 
It is what it is. And then I'm also a big fan of they do a good job. Sometimes you have to pay a bit more money. I'm not saying that we don't obviously do a good enough job and you pay less, but it's funny because whenever we're like a dollar or two higher than some people, we get a lot of people messaging us, asking us why, and then conveniently when we're like six, seven, eight, nine dollars cheaper than everyone else, no one says a thing. <laughs> They're quiet about it. But yeah, Tyler, the one thing I know, and I will also tell you this, um, because we got audited, I'll say something, I think seven years ago now, and I have someone who works in the CRA. When COVID's done, I guarantee you they're going to hammer down on a lot of these Facebook group breakers. And not just hockey, obviously all sports. Because, man, these guys who are, I won't say avoiding taxes, but these guys who are doing these from the home and they're not claiming any taxes or anything, boy, are they going to get crushed. I have tried to warn several of them, just be careful, like make sure you charge your taxes or remit. They are going to feel it hard, I'm telling you. It's the CRA, if people, same with like in the U.S., the IRS, you do not want to mess with those people. Once you get that stuff on your record, that's not fun. So I encourage any of you guys, if you know anyone, well, that's a problem that, a lot, like there's a big difference between these guys who do it at home with their buddies type thing and it's like cash per se. But when there's PayPal involved, I, I don't know if they know, but there's a law in Canada. I think uh, PayPal actually gives the CRA the what is basically put into everyone's account. Like that got passed, uh, I don't know how recently it was. Uh, like four, five, six, seven months ago, that PayPal now has to give the CRA the actual income of anyone over, I think, 26000 which as a breaker wouldn't be that hard to get to, to be honest. It's not easy. But, man, I'm telling you, some of these guys are going to get audited and they're not going to like it. So I, I always try to encourage anyone who's a breaker on Facebook, just do it legit, please. <laughs> It'll, it'll save you so much more hassle in life if you just do it the right way. I know it sucks that you got to pay taxes. I hate it too, but it will save you so much more. All right, good luck, 551. 551. And also another funny one, uh, I think our Veligan sent it to me. Um, PSA now apparently sent out a memo to everyone stating that they're – I can't remember what exactly it was, but – Oh, what was the gist of it? Give me one second. Basically, PSA is not guaranteeing timelines. That they're completely backlogged. And they won't give an actual turnaround time. <laughs> okay. Here we go, starting off CNC break, 12,551. Statue, three box break. So, looks like PSA and Beckett are having a lot of difficulty right now. For the Maple Leafs, John Tavares. John Tavares base. For the LA Kings, Drew Doughty. Drew Doughty. For the Red Wings, a 3-9, Caden Fulcher. And guys like uh, Tyler, if you ever join a Facebook group break page, you should recommend MNT to those guys, especially Canadian guys. You honestly should rep those people. 99 esteemed green of Jack Eichel for the Buffalo Sabres. 99 green Buffalo Sabres, Jack Eichel. For the Boston Bruins, number to 85, Trent Frederick. Trent Frederick to 85. For the Devils, number to 85, Green Rookie Auto, Jesper Bogfist. Bogfist, number to 85. I love the color of these. 
For the Rangers, esteemed of Lungfist. And for the Sharks, esteemed of Carlson. As I said, we've literally, to give you an idea, I think two weeks ago, we had a couple people come in and submit 100 cards, both for six days. And we got both of them back on time. So MNT is still not missing deadlines, even though that we are hammering them with gratings. Coyotes, Timu Solani. Old Winnipeg Jets goes to the Coyotes. Timu Solani. For the Panthers, Sergei Bobrovsky. For the Panthers base. For the LA Kings of 399, Matt Waugh. Matt. What? For the Oilers, the 149, Leon Dre Seidel. One forty nine, Leon Dre Seidel. For the Oilers, the seventy five, Grand Fuhrer. Are you doing the colors for this golden, by the way? I feel like this would be a beautiful uh, rainbow to get. Grant Fuhrer. For the Sharks, number 85, Green Rookie Auto, Mario Ferraro. We've been lazy. Mario Ferraro. Ooh, 149. Green rookie of Makar for the Avalanche. 149 rookie Makar for the Avs. And the Steam, or sorry, Century Momentus of Forsberg for the Avalanche. You've been lazy, eh? Well, get on it. They're going to be harder and harder to find. Beautiful stuff. I love literally stature. I wish they had this for Matthew's rookie year. That would have been freaking amazing. We've got for the Avalanche, Nathan McKinnon. For the Avalanche, Miko Rontanen. For the Hawks, number to 399, Adam Bogfist. Adam Bogfist. For the Minnesota Wild, Capo Kakinen. Minnesota. For the Avalanche, holy moly Avalanche, 149 green, Miko Rontanen. Miko Rontanen. For the wild blue rookie, one office jersey number, Capo Kakinen. Number 35 blue, Capo Kakinen. We've got for the Ottawa Senators to 199, Rudolph Balsers. Rudolph's. Balsers, rookie auto, and an esteemed a rookie reliance, Gusev for the Devils. Well, we got a nice Makar. We got a nice green Bogue Fist. Love that. The stature, literally probably one of my favorite products that has come out in many years. Legit, folks. One of my favorite products. All right, let me see what's next. Paulie, how you doing? All right, 538, the chancer. I'm just going to get that one ready. That'll take a few minutes. Oh, and by the way, I did email MNT. 
Um, about a deal again for Premier. Uh, I have not heard back as of yet, but once I do, I will let you guys know. I'm hoping we can do that deal on release like we always do. I will be telling them that if they can't do it for Premiere, I absolutely would need to have it for Series 1. And I will highly recommend, I know we're a month off, folks, but man, when Series 1 comes out, you should be getting every young gun you possibly can get graded right away because you will make significantly more money selling that card graded like in the first two weeks than you would any other time. So keep that in mind, folks. But obviously, we'll focus on Premier first. All right, five, three, eight. More baseball breaks. I know I got to get more baseball stuff in. I'm working on it. We're trying to do a bit of everything. Here we go, 12,538. Everything three times. One, two, three. Copy. Paste. One, two, three. Copy. Paste. All right, the Kirby Doc out of five autograph goes to Ruferden. Congrats. The Kubalik goes to Matsky. Kubalik rookie auto from Artifacts. The ticket access of Jack Hughes. Out of 99 goes to Mike C, 29. The Matthews goes to Cost Cards. Congrats. And the Makar goes to Eric. Congrats. All right, give me one second, folks. I'll be right back. I'm just going to grab some quick food. I'm going to do two runs for it. First, got to grab it and heat it up, and then I'm going to come back. Yeah, we'll do a quick bathroom break. I might be gone for a few minutes. Looks like black's filling up. Actually, I'll, I'll wait till the payments come in on black. I'll do the randoms on that, and then that'll be a little easier to do. And just asking, do you guys want me to post another one of the black basketball, or are you guys done with that? Is anyone else actually interested in that tonight? I know we have a lot of other breaks up there. I don't want to post it if it's not going to go decently quickly, but if I have if several people saying they're taking another spot. They're sharp, yeah, they are. All right, so I'm going to do the basketball random then. So that way we can get that one going. And then uh, during the five minutes, I'll do what I got to do for the food and everything. So give me a second. I'm telling you, Tyler, for anyone who's actually tried them and not just, like, listen to what other people say or, or badmouth them without actually trying them, all I've ever said, because we've dealt with them for, I think, three years now or four years, if you try them, I guarantee you, you'll have nothing but positive things to say. Their service is the best. They don't miss their deadlines. They're literally, I think, one of the cheapest of the big three. I think they are the cheapest by far of the big three. And as I said, you get your stuff on time. Like, I, someone, I was trying to remember, somebody made the comment, which I thought was quite funny, of why are there only Macars on eBay, their MNT cards, the Macar Young Guns. And I was like, 
because Beckett and PSA still haven't got theirs back yet. That goes to show you how far behind they are when literally you can pretty much only find M&T Macar Series 2 Young Guns. You know, or Future Watch cards or something like that. It's crazy. Crazy, I tell you. All right, good luck. Here we go. 12,559, everything three times. One, two, three. Copy. Paste. One, two, three. Copy. Paste. Jerry Jack's got San Antonio, Bow Sox, Boston, Elbows High of Houston. Tin Man's got the Clippers, Hammer's got Utah. Jay Tucker, Washington, Bucks has Detroit, Elbows, Chicago, Bo Sox, Phoenix, Warlock, Milwaukee, A. Hogan, Portland, and Indiana, Corey's got Orlando, Ovechkin, New York, uh, Warlock, Atlanta, Jerjack, Miami, Bucks has Charlotte, Dave's got Minnesota, Lakers go to Warlock, Corey's got the Raptors, Warlock, Pelicans, good luck, Jay Tucker, Philly, Ovechkin's got Dallas, uh, CIA's got Denver, a. Hogan's got Cleveland, CIA Sacramento, A. Hogan, Oklahoma, Hammer, Golden State, Tin Man, Brooklyn, Dave's got Memphis. Oh, yeah. You know what, Tyler, as I've said, I went through this when I was a small business. I know a lot of people do when they're a small business. People like to bring you down for no reason at the end of the day. You know, people thought when they first came out that they wouldn't last more than a year or two in this market. They've gotten literally bigger and bigger and bigger. They've landed more dealers. Um, they literally landed the biggest distributor in Canada. They ain't going down. They're growing. And they're sticking around, which is phenomenal. All right, I'll be back in a few minutes, folks. Going to do a quick couple things.
Defense. All right. I forgot to fill my water bottle. I'll do that after this break. I'll do it after this break. All right, so 559. Uh, spot 12. Uh, this is the second one real. This is the second uh, basketball one, so I don't know if you've enjoyed that one. I saw you in the first one. Here we go, starting off CNC break number 12,559. We've got the black. Start off number to 149 for the Cleveland Cavaliers, Kevin Porter Jr. to 149. Kevin Porter Jr. Did someone say he was one of the bigger rookies? Or was I uh, wrong on that one? We've got number to 149 for the Phoenix Suns, DeAndre Ayton. Ayton. Put that one down. Number to 65, rookie for the Atlanta Hawks of Bruno Fernando. Bruno Fernando. Is it Aiton? All right, somebody else told me it was E H and then T O N, Aton. So we're getting two conflicting results here, folks. Number to 65, Chicago Bulls, Lori Markinen. Markinen, yeah. And let's see who it is on this one. For the Cavaliers, patch jersey auto rookie to 49, Dylan Windler. Dylan Windler. Uh, 
All right. So do you guys want me to post the third one of these or do I don't know, wait maybe uh, to another day? We've got an Anthony Davis to 149. Actually, I am curious because basketball is such a different animal. What are the LeBron James of these base cards selling for? This is for the Lakers, obviously. Number to 149 for the Phoenix Suns, Ty Jerome. Does anyone mind looking up what the base card of that goes for? We know sometimes the base are crazy for basketball. Ty Jerome. Put that down. We've got number to 65 for the Memphis Grizzlies, Jaron Jackson Jr. Oh, is that what it is? Going to make sense. And we've got for the Thunder, Dennis Schroeder. Number to 65. And let's see what this one is. It's a redemption. I will need to know the team, guys. I do apologize. A rookie mem autograph, silver, Carson Edwards. Anyone uh, mind Let me know what team that's for. Carson Edwards Celtics. Thank you. There we go. So is that a decent one? Is Windler or... Edwards, a decent one, or not really? Not really? Ah. So what I'm hearing, then, is the next two boxers should be much better, right? That, that's what I'm hearing from you guys. Does anyone else want me to post another one? Anyone, if you guys don't speak up, I'm not going to do it. If I get a few people saying they would, I'll happily do it. But you want to post one? I'll post one just for you, Golden. Now Again, maybe I don't know all this kind of stuff, and we didn't get a full case anyways. Is it one of those ones, are there cases with Panini Black or other other ones, or is it just whatever it is, whatever it is? Yeah, I tried to watch some of the videos of it to see kind of what I should be looking for, what I should be getting excited for. I was just doing my normal research on stuff like that. And I don't know if there's any bona fide cases that I kind of noticed, but either way, the reddish several hundred dollar card, that's not a bad start at least. All right, I have launched the third one. I got to see. You know, we uh, had a couple who wanted to buy some. So this may, for example, it is possible, guys. 
This could be the last black that we have, possibly. I guess exactly how many we have aside for some of our members who are basketball uh, guys. All right, so we got 11 left in the ingrained, 18 left in the trilogy, 10 left in the mixed break with the premier 10 giveaway. So not only do you have a shot at the team that you're buying, guys, for example, like Anaheim's $35, you could also win a premier 10. By the way, the basketball chancer is already down to 13. Let's get that one uh, rolling again. 10 left and 11 left. Ingrained is down to uh, 11. Never mind, ingrained is down to 6. <laughs> So let's keep it going, folks. All right, down to 11 left, the black is, and grains down to 5 left. Ice is down to 16. The mix break down to 9. And I'll also make you another fun deal tonight, folks, because why not? It's a fun day. I did this uh, last time, and it worked, so I might as well try it again. I will give away two gold packs, the NBA gold packs, if this Zion Chancer gets filled uh, tonight by 9.30. So the top two people in the random will get a gold pack added to the uh, added to the thing. And again, there are Zion potential in there, which is anytime you can get Zion or Jaws or R.J. Barrett. So I don't even know if he's selling well. Is R.J. Barrett selling well? Did he... Uh, they ha did he have kind of a rough year? And he's a Canadian, right? Barrett was a Canadian. Your career goes in the tank when you play for the Knicks. Yeah. <laughs> now, hold on. Didn't uh, – and, again, I might be completely just botching this one. Didn't Durant go to the Knicks? Or am I completely wrong on that one? The Nets, that's what it was. Okay. Well, I was thinking he went to a team that had... Uh, what was the thing the Knicks? I don't know. It's kind of a New York team, isn't it? I feel like it counts. I'll, I'll give it a half point for me. Dolan equals Melnick on steroids. I like that. That's funny. And sad at the same time. It kind of makes you wonder sometimes how these guys got to where they are in life with how they run things, eh?
It just really makes you wonder. All right, now I'm just updating the payments folks that are coming in. Oh, did he? That'd be nice to inherit a team, eh? So again, if we get the Zion Chancer filled, please keep in mind it's only $12. I will give away two gold packs as a thank you for getting that one filled today. It's been a fun day. By the way, the chancer looks like it's down to 17 left. 17 to go. Beautiful. And we're just down to one spot left in the ingrained. We are chugging along, folks. All right. Nine left in the black break. 17 in Zion. One left in ingrained. We are getting closer. We are so close, folks. Okay, and green looks like it's pretty much filled. And looks like black could be down to six left. So there we go. We're moving them all. I love it. And we're just waiting on the last two payments for ingrained, which uh, should be coming in pretty quickly, I presume. Certified is... Oh, a dando in the pricing there. Uh, if that's a 12, 13 one, it looks like 90 bucks plus tax. Should be on our website, Matt. Check on our website. We should have it there. If not, let me know. I'll go beat Dan up for it.
All right, five left in black, by the way, and I'm going to do the random for five, five, four, which is ingrained. All right, give me one second, folks. Oh, not on the website, interesting. Should have been on there. I don't know why Dan put it and put it on there. Yeah, I'll go double check to see. Maybe it just didn't put it on there for a reason or something. I don't know. Here we go. 12,554. Everything three times. One, two, three. One, two, three. Dante's got L.A., Leezer's got Tampa, A. Hogan, Arizona, Thor, Minnesota, Bomar's got Colorado, Bucks, San Jose, Pouts got Florida, Newf, Montreal, Vank, Ottawa, C.W. Rangers, Messier, Nashville, Hogan got Pittsburgh, Game War in Anaheim, Hogan, Carolina, Leezer's got Chicago, Hogan's got St. Louis, Leezer's got Buffalo, Philly, Vancouver, Tex got Ed Money, Game War in New Jersey, Mike's got Washington, Elbows, Islanders, Hockey Jaw, Toronto, A Hogan, Vegas, Perpin Yellow's got Boston, Pouts got Winnipeg, Game War in Detroit, Woodhead's got Dallas, Game War in Columbus, Derek's got Calgary. I'm going to fill up my water bottle. And then we'll go crush this one. All right, I'll be right back. That. 
All right, couple more minutes, folks. All right, we got ingrained. Ingrained in the membrane. All right, seven left in the double up of the black. Eight left in the mix break. Uh, 20 left in the Zion, it looks like right now, folks. Let's keep them going. But I'm going to start this break, which is 554. All right, best of luck, everyone. Here we go. Here we go, starting off CNC break 12,554. We've got the ingrained toolbox break. Start off for the Devils, the 299 Marty Broder. Marty Broder, New Jersey. For the Red Wings, Michael Rasmussen, the 299 rookie. Michael Rasmussen. For the Hawks, we've got a signature shot. Victor Edgesell. Signature shots. Victor Edgesell. That is beautiful. We've got number 25. Blade shaft handle for the Penguins. Mark Recky. Legit one of my favorite designs from Ingrain. Love these cards. Pittsburgh Penguins, Mark Recky. For the Montreal Canadiens, the 100 remnant, Steve Shutt. Steve Shutt, remnants. And we've got a synthesis of Brent Burns for the Sharks. Ingrained the next year. For the Red Wings, Dylan Larkin to 299. For the Jets, Villa Henola, $2.99, Winnipeg Jets. For the Red Wings, signature shots, two for nine, Ryan Kuffner. Red Wings rookie signature shots, Ryan Kuffner. Woo, another one. Complete sticks. Autograph number to 25 for the Sharks, Joe Thornton. Joe Thornton for the Sharks, complete sticks autograph. For the Anaheim Ducks, 65, Ryan Miller. Ryan Miller, Revenants. And for the Flyers, 49, Claude Giroux.
All right. Well, that is a absolutely disgustingly nice Thornton. All right, so let's keep focusing on the breaks. See where we are. All right, the basketball chancer is moving. The basketball double up is moving. All right. And the EMTs are coming in, which are great. All right, what is next, ladies and gentlemen? What do you guys want to focus on next? Four left in the black double up, three left in the CNC mix break. Four left and three left. We are so close on two breaks. What's up, card? Do we know if there'll be autograph pins like the Gretzky? Honestly, I don't know yet. I hope they do because that would be uh, fun, wouldn't it? So, ladies and gentlemen, we got four left in the black double up. Three left in the black double up.
right. All right, so three left, and it looks like the mixer is good to go. Let's double check everything. The mixer. So the black double up will probably be the next one after this. Again, guys, the Zion Chancer. Now let's grab it all here. Series one, series two. Neutrals, alternate, SBA. Stature, ultimate, ice. Stature, ultimate, ice, credentials, SBA, artifacts, boom. All right, best of luck, everyone. Let me get the random ready for this one. Give me one second, I apologize. All right, so 12,552. JT. Response, I guess. Smash. Tell JT to shut up. <laughs> Tell him to shush. Tell JT to be quiet. The feet. People can hear it on here. You know what I'm saying? I, I tried to tell him, but he can't listen. All right. Good luck, everyone. Here we go. Here we go, starting off CNC break number 12,552. All right. He's so loud, this JT guy, I tell you. We've got a young gun for the Ottawa Senators of Vitaly Abramov. Abramov for the Ottawa Senators. We got a portrait of Carter Hart for the Flyers. Young guns. I'm sorry, no young guns. There we go. Young guns of Jesper Bokefist for the Devils. Jesper Bokefist. Young guns for the Habs of Flurry. Young guns for the Habs of Flurry. Game jersey for the sons of Bobby Ryan. Bobby Ryan. And a 
canvas of McDavid for the Ed Money Oilers. We've got for the Sands, Brandstrom. Brandstrom. I believe so, yeah. Paling Glossy for the Habs. And we've got a Brandstrom Gold for the Sens. Yeah, that must be, uh, I guess, to get rid of the contract, right? He's, I feel like that was like probably one of the best storylines they had last year at the end of the year of him coming back and well, getting the hat trick or something like that. We've got a portrait of Trent Frederick for the Boston Bruins. Young Guns for the Flyers, Joel Farabee. Canvas of Gibson for the Anaheim Ducks. Marky Rookie for the Edmonton Oilers of Gaten Haas. Marky Rookie of Gustafson for the Winnipeg Jets. Okay, see you later. Young Guns for the Maple Leafs. Trevor Moore. Portraits Rookies of Farabee for the Flyers. We've got for the Maple Leafs, Rasmus Sandin, glossy. For the Devils, Gusev. And we got another gold glossy for the Maple Leafs of Sandin. Sandin, two of them. Brandstrom, two of them. All right. We've got a year one rookie sweaters, Rasmus Dahlin for the Buffalo Sabres. $3.99 for the Dallas Stars, Jamie Ben. Number to 85, Ryan Nugent Hopkins for the Ed Money Oilers. For the Minnesota Wild, to 165, Jason Zucker. Dual jersey. 6.99, Austin Matthews for the Maple Leafs. We've got a number four gold rookie dual jersey, which is Nick Suzuki for the Habs. Number four, Nick Suzuki for the Montreal Canadiens. We've got an auto fax, Danton Heenan. Facts for the Boston Bruins. And finish off with a $6.99. Nico Heischer for the Devils. Spa time. We've got a moment of Sidney Crosby for the Pittsburgh Penguins. 
Future Watch Auto Mawa for the LA Kings. Future Watch Autograph Matwa. Moment of Jack Hughes for the Devils. Update of Taylor Hall for the Coyotes. Landeskog for the Avalanche All-Star Update. SP Essentials of Alex Dabrinkat for the Hawks. Young Guns Yakov Trennan for the Preds. SP Essentials of Mantha for the Red Wings. Red Base Limited Carter Hart for the Philadelphia Flyers. Matthew Barzel for the Islanders. Updates or All Star One. Mitch Marner Red Limited for the Maple Leafs. Moment of Kucherov for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Sick Limited Auto Patch number to 100 for the Stars. Miro Heiskinen. Limited Auto Materials. Miro Heiskinen. SP Essentials. Carey Price. Update of Latang for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Bo Horvat, red for the Vancouver Canucks. Card, what team do you got? Spectrum of Sveshnikov for the Canes. And a Spectrum FX of Volkov for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Credentials. Oh, you got the Maple Leafs. All right. We still got some good boxes ahead of us. We've got for the Rangers, Credentials, uh, Rookie Science, Capo Caco, and a two ninety nine Noah Dobson for the Islanders. Star of the night of John Tavares for the Maple Leafs. And a star of the night auto for the Golden Knights. Mark Stone to 75. Star of the night. Star of the night of Braden Point for the Tampa Lightning. And we got a 999 of Breeze Bois for the Vancouver Canucks. We've got a rookie science of Lazat for the Kings. 699 of Abramov for the Sens. Star of the night of Dobson for the Islanders. Nine, 199 Stam goes base for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Rookie science of Gusev for the Devils. 699 of Timmins for the Avalanche. We've got a rookie science of Brady Keeper for the Panthers. And a through the boards of Gusev for the Devils. And we've got a rookie science of Harosi for the Red Wings. 
And a 299 rookie auto, Ryan Paling for the Montreal Canadiens. Ryan Paling. We've got an ice, ice baby. We've got a orange of Stammer for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Ice Premier's rookie jersey. Ilya Mikheyev for the Maple Leafs. I hope he has a really good year next year. We've got a green of Seth Jones for the Jackets. And an Ice Premier's rookie auto to $3.99 of Jesper Boakvist. Boakvist. Or the Devils. Green of Lungfist for the Rangers. $4.99 Ice Premiers of Frederick for the Boston Bruins. Green of Kachuk for the Sens. $12.99 of Adam Werner for the Ads. Green of Pedersen for the Canucks. And a $9.99 for the Oilers. Gaten Haas. Both of us was nice. McCabe was okay. Not too shabby. Stature. What will we get in Stature? We are going to get a... I don't know. We'll figure it out. We've got a Willie O'Ree for the Boston Bruins. For the Flyers, Claude Giroux. For the Flyers, a 399 Morgan Frost. Mr. Frost. Some biased Leaf fans. For the Vegas Golden Knights, the 149 Nicholas Hag. Mikhaev's not for Calder. 149. For the Islanders, the 45 rookie Reliance Red, Noah Dobson. Noah Dobson, number to 45. For the Avalanche, number to 45, Nathan McKinnon, esteemed. To be fair, though, David, I will say his numbers pre injury were actually pretty damn good. Not Calder, in my opinion, but definitely a top five rookie of last year, in my opinion. For the Oilers, Grant Fuhrer. Grant Fuhrer. It's a Grant Fuhrer stature night, apparently. For the Maple Leafs, number to 35, blue rookie, Ilya Makayev. Ilya Makayev, blue rookie for the Maple Leafs. And a rookie reliance of Brandon Gignac for the Devils. I would actually be, I don't know if anyone can do it. I'm curious to see where, what was he ranked for rookies when he got injured? He had to have been like fifth to seventh, if I remember correctly. All right, we've got for the Flyers, 299, Carson Twarinski. Warinski. For the Islanders, ultimate introductions autograph, Noah Dobson. Noah Dobson. For the Anaheim Ducks, number 99, ultimate rookie auto patch, Max Jones. Jones. And we've got a Caden Primo for the Habs. Rookie jersey. Ooh. 
Yeah, like in all honesty, it's not a bias here. He's probably, as I said, I would say maybe a top five to seven rookie this year. Not Calder. I don't think he's in the same stratosphere, in my opinion, right now, or anywhere near it, of Makar and Hughes. I, I just think they're too honestly damn good. In all honesty, I don't think he's in the same uh, category as Suzuki. But I do feel he's a very solid. And I don't know if he's a third liner. I would say I think he's going to be a good solid second liner. You're a Sens fan? You know what? I wouldn't trade McKay for a defenseman. I'll tell you why. I feel like we would not get fair value for him. And I don't mean that rudely. I'm just saying I think his value is going to be significantly higher than what a team would view him as as of right now. In my opinion, in my honest opinion, Nylander is the guy you got to trade for a defenseman. I think a lot of teams would be interested. His contract, in all honesty, is not too bad, considering he's probably a 30-goal scorer. And I think he's got a potential of doing a bit better. All right, good luck on the random, everyone. Whoever lands on top is going to get the box of Premier when it comes out. Here we go, 12,000, what was it, we'll break number 552, the random, good luck, three times, Premier Tin. One, two, three, Neely Fan with Philly. There we go. Congrats, Neely Fan. What I'm also somewhat curious on is... What are we going to do for our goaltender situation for Toronto? Or what do you do? That's going to be an interesting one. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, let me see where we're at right now. Leonard would be interesting or Fleury, honestly. I don't know. I don't think Fleury's got the longevity that we would need. As in, like, I don't think we'd have more and more in, like, three, four years. But, man, that would be a fun pickup. I think he'd be loved in Toronto, too. All right, one left in the double up of black. Um, the Zion chance are apparently these gold packs you guys just don't want to get. I don't know how that uh, for a $12 break, that one can move instantly, folks. And I also beefed that one up. There's a 9.5 jaw and a 9.5 Zion in there. Is that possible? Yeah. You know what, Golden? I know you're a Habs fan. I will also be fair. There's not many... Uh, players that the Leafs hate right now. I got to give him that. Like, we got rid of Jake Gardner. Have a good one. See you tomorrow. Smash. <laughs> so, yeah, we don't have many people that we actually genuinely hate. People didn't like Mitch Marner's contract, but we don't like, we don't dislike Marner. Matthews is truly loved. Yeah, Golden, you know what? The problem is, just like, obviously, it's just like the Habs. Anything that you hear is amplified 50 times more, and people make fun of it 50 times more because you're a Leaf fan or a Habs fan, you know. And I think we know that, is that when you're one of the biggest fan bases or the biggest fan, 
fan base, you're going to have that issue. Our media is very toxic, yes. Yeah, media, I absolutely despise the media. Now, mind you, to be fair, obviously since the Toronto media is significantly bigger, David, is there any media that's honestly good? Bye. Bye. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm sure the one reporter that follows the Ottawa Senators, I'm just joking, David, but I was saying, are any of the are any of the media honestly like positive? Most times it's very harsh, right? We fired all the media. You know what, Golden? I will say I, I somewhat disagree with that. I think Freddie's a big part of it, a massive part of it. I don't think he got us to where we are. There's a lot of you know what, like, I think a lot of things also get covered up, and this is just me watching most of the games, Golden. A, thing, a lot of things get covered up when Toronto wins very exciting games. Like, my son's first game I took him to was the Carolina-Toronto game, 8-6. The thing is, people completely overlook when we let in six goals because we scored eight goals. <laughs> Oh, that I don't disagree with you, Golden. I do not disagree with you on that one. When, obviously, you saw with our backup what happens, right? Our backup is left hanging out to dry, and that's that's what happens. Toronto's defense is absolutely god-awful. That I will never, ever try to, you know, argue with anyone on. It's just I don't think Freddie is as clutch as we need him to be. And we'll also, the way I also look at it, going like, look at guys like Vasilevsky and, and Leonard in the playoffs. They're getting shutouts left, right, and center. You know, um, wow, how did I forget his name now? The Dallas goalie. Why did I forget his name? Not Hudobin, or was it Hudobin? Was it Hudobin? Am I right on that? Yeah, it was. Okay, good. But like, when you have goals that they're literally stealing games, my only thing for me, I will say, when I've watched Toronto, now don't get me wrong, Toronto played a lot of crap hockey in the playoffs. I had never really watched a playoff game and said Freddie, like, single-handedly won that game for us in the playoffs. He has won a bunch of hockey games in the season. But playoffs, I feel like he just struggles a bit. But now, again, just being honest, it's not like we're giving him a lot of help. So you have to look at both sides. Goalies sometimes need a bit more of a help. But like like Leonard, didn't he have three or four games in a row of getting a shutout type thing or one goal? Like I just don't see Freddie as that kind of goalie to do that. Or he obviously hasn't proven it yet. Okay, just give me a few seconds, folks. I'm just getting the randoms ready here. Yeah, I think honestly for Toronto, I think there's a lot of things that we need. I'm not going to lie. That's it. It's kind of frustrating because, I don't know, I feel like on paper we legitimately should have one of the stronger teams in the NHL. But yet, I don't know. I will honestly attribute it to, I think, the young core that we have. I don't want to use the word lazy, but I feel like they are – Along the lines of prima donna, where they just think they're too good for what they are. And I, I really do believe that. I, I think, I feel like these guys just feel like, you know what, we're so skilled, we can do anything we want. And the problem is, 
Skill is great to have, but that does not win you cups, clearly. You need to have, like, sandpaper. You need to have effort. I just feel like they're, they're not – they don't have the drive, I think, right now to get there. I know. And that's one thing I always hate, David. I'll be honest. Like, how many times have I had conversations on here about how Jack Hughes is a bust? How can you call a 19-year-old kid a bust? As I've always said, four or five years in the NHL, if you suck after four or five years, legitimately you can say that. Toronto still has, what, 23-year-old players? These guys have a lot more time to grow. They're, I want them to get better faster, obviously. But it's not like these guys are 32 and aging type thing. Tavares is. Here we go. 12,565. Everything three times. One, two, and three. Copy. Paste. One, two, three. Copy, paste. Juice has Atlanta. Bucks has Cleveland. Slick's got LA Clippers. Derek's got Orlando. Eight feet Indiana. Corey's got Philly. Elbows Golden State. Juice has Milwaukee. Hogan's got Memphis. No Mac is Boston. Hogan Houston. Eight feet LA Lakers and Portland. Hogan New Orleans. Congrats. Jer Jack San Antonio. Corey's got Detroit. Reels got Oklahoma and Charlotte. Jer Jack Utah. A Hogan Chicago. Bo Sox has Toronto, Tin Man Denver, Slick Rick Brooklyn, Elbows Dallas, Bo Sox Minnesota, Tin Man Sacramento, Derek Scott Washington, Nomac is Phoenix, Bucks has New, uh, New York Knicks, 8 feet Miami Heat. So I'm going to go quickly throw out the food I have and grab the boxes, and then I will be back. We have five minutes for trading, 12 let me get this written down so that way I'm ready when I come in here. Uh, we'll be right back. Yeah, Yakupov is a guy I would say is a bust right now.
All right, ladies and gentlemen. So again, as stated, if we get that Zion Chancer filled tonight, two gold packs will be given away to the two top spots. So that is legitimately just an added extra thank you guys to getting that going. And there's only 19 left at $12. Two boxes are given away, a jaw and a Zion. That ain't too shabby. All right, 565. Good luck, everyone. Here we go. Here we go, starting off season break number 12,565. We've got the black two box break. Ooh, I like that name on the back. <laughs> We've got a Wiggins to 149. Golden State Warriors. Andrew Wiggins. We've got an Embiid number to 149 base for the Philadelphia 76ers, Joel Embiid. Put this one down there. Nice. Number to 49, Pascal Siakam for the Raptors. It's a beautiful looking card there. Pascal Siakam. And number to 65 rookie for the New York Knicks, R.J. Barrett. R.J. Barrett to 65. All right. And we've got for the 76ers, Patch Auto to 49. Matthias Thibel. Apologize again if I got the name wrong. Patch Otto Thibel. He's not bad. That's good to hear. Well, that was a good pack. RJ Barrett and Thibel. I always keep forgetting that there's not a sticker on these ones. I'm so used to hockey products with stickers on it. They have no stickers. And I know that name on the back. P.J. Washington Jr., rookie to 149. P.J. Washington Jr. for the Hornets. We've got an Eric Paschal, number to 149, rookie for the Golden State Warriors. Again, if I say names wrong, I apologize. Hey, did we just get this exact same card? We've got for the Raptors, Pascal Siakam. Oh, if one of them's not good enough, there's two. And that is a much better rookie. Number to 65, Tyler Harrow for the Miami Heat. That's going to be a decent one, right? Tyler, Harrow, Miami Heat. I do rec recommend getting those ones graded, by the way. Is it Hero? I thought it was Harrow. But either way. For the Golden State Warriors, dual patch auto number to 15, Jordan Poole. Number to 15, Jordan Poole. There we go. Well, that was pretty sick. All right. 
Was he really? Jeez. That was a stacked team then, eh? All right, so let's see where we are. The Zion Chancer just had three spots taken. Z -z -z Zion. He wasn't. Ooh, we're getting uh, we're getting conflicting reports here, folks. Who's right? Who's wrong? Actually, it looks like that Tyler Harrow card is probably like 100 to 150 US, by the way. So whoever landed that bad boy probably get that graded. Mind you, any of these cards of basketball, you probably should get graded either way. <laughs> it's basketball. It goes nuts. All right, so does anyone want to make a last-ditch effort on the Zion Chancer? That it looks like if all is going through, we are down to 12 left in that one and 12 left in the ice. So 12 in that, 12 in the ice if everything goes well. Who wants to finish it off? Again, these breaks are pure out investment. You will do very well down the road. So let's see if we can get the ice going and the Zion Chancer. Let's get them under 10. Well, the Zion Chancer is now at 9, so thank you. And then we've got the ice is down to 12 left. So who wants to get the ball rolling? Zion looks like it's down to six left. This is what I'm talking about. It's very easy to get these things moving quickly. Ice, ice, baby. Five left in the Zion. All right. Four left in the Zion. And the ice is moving too. Everything's going. One left and ten left. There we go. Got a whole bunch of spots getting taken in the Zion at once. Hopefully they all go through. Who knows, right? All right, so if everything goes well, the ice is down to eight. Zion is potentially filled, but again, we've got a few spots that are just waiting to get checked out. Ha, <laughs> ha. 
Back to work. How was work today? How was work for you? Four and three left now. They be moving. Uh, Michelle, have you trilogy or clear cut? Realistically, are the two that uh, are going to go after the ice and Zion. Zion's down to two, Ice is down to one, so those two are pretty much right there. Sucked ball. Wow. Elegantly put by you. And a whole bunch of the transfers are coming in, so I'm just updating those folks. You pride yourself in being blunt. It's never a bad thing. I feel like uh, I feel like it's a problem nowadays. Most people are not very honest. They skirt around the issues, and they don't say what's on their mind. All right, so I'm going to get the randoms ready for the Zion, and then, uh, again, top two spots. Good luck. And then, uh, yeah, everything's good. And then I'll do the ice random, and we'll crush that one. <laughs> and I appreciate that. The one, the one thing I've definitely learned in life about that, Michelle, is some people absolutely despise that. They do not like hearing honesty. That is one thing I have learned. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck, 12,557. Three times. Here we go, 12,557. One, two, three. Copy, paste. One, two, three. Copy, paste. All right, the first item that we have goes to the real Mahoney. Gets the Jaw 95 rookie. Dave 1118 gets the Chronicles hanger box. The Zion goes to D Garwood. And Prud CCK gets the Chronicles 
Hanger box. Congrats. Congrats, everybody. You know what I honestly attribute that to, Big Golden? I feel like this world that we live in right now is very soft. You can't, like, honestly tell people off to help improve them without them feeling like you're attacking them, which is the complete opposite. And the top two spots, yes, you are correct. So that would be elbows and max. So congrats on that. All right, so that one is done. And that's the thing, Golden, that I think sometimes when people are not used to getting told off or, or coddled too much type thing, I don't know, I feel like it's a different environment. It's like, I feel like over the years, if there's something in the industry, for example, I don't like or I do like, I'll be very straightforward to it. I think it's a very simple approach, right? Like as I said, I'll be honest on the good and I'll be honest on the back. Or on the bad, sorry. It's exactly like Premier, as I said. I, I honestly don't really understand why dealers are charging more than 50 bucks per spot. Like we do all pay the same price in terms of stores. Facebook group breakers, I could understand because maybe they got to buy it from other dealers or whatever. But why there's a discrepancy in stores, I'm being honest, I don't really understand it. I feel like at that point they're kind of just being, I wouldn't say greedy because everyone's got to run their own business. But, I don't know. We're doing 49, why others are doing 50 odd plus, no idea. It's the same box, so we buy from the same distributor at the same price. No. Matt, there is no volume discount. I can pretty much guarantee you all the big group breakers in Canada, we all pay the same price for the boxes. So that's what I'm saying. To me, I don't really understand why there would be that much of a discrepancy in pricing. And again, I had one of my guys text me literally today when I talked about this earlier today. One breaker apparently doing for 58 bucks. So that is $9. That's $280 more than we're charging. That is literally an entire Premier tin more than what we're charging. That, that's significant dollars. Oh, in most industries, there's volume rebates. I don't disagree. But to give you perspective, Matt, if I, if I uh, buy one case or if I buy 100 cases, 500 cases, it would be the same price for me. There's no discount, sadly. And I'm also just getting the randoms ready, just so you guys know. I'm not just sitting here doing nothing. Now, I, the only, only thing healthy, the only thing I will somewhat be sympathetic for is certain dealers rent are significantly more than others. Like there's stores, for example, that are hot, like a quarter of the size of what we are in terms of rent. So, you know, they're, they don't have as much overhead, but there are definitely places that are significantly more expensive to rent than ours. Right? Like, I don't know in Banff how, how expensive it is, but for all we know, maybe their, uh, their overhead is three times what a normal overhead is. Thus, they got to charge a bit more. So I am, I understand that aspect. All I'm saying is what I don't understand is on a brand new release, why there's that much of a discrepancy between us and other people, and of course other breakers, there shouldn't be that much of a discrepancy. In all honesty, there shouldn't be. A couple bucks, sure. Not $280, <laughs> in my opinion. That's a little, that's a little rich.
Here we go, 12,548. Everything three times. One, two, three. Copy. Over, Keith, San Jose. Pete, St. Louis. Hockey's got Rangers. Woods, New Jersey. Pete's Detroit. Max, Dallas. CW, Arizona. Keith has Boston. Pete's has Montreal. Reels got Philly. Pete's Florida. Woods got Ed Money. And also, to go completely fair, I also look at it the opposite way, too. I, I double check to see if that if we're out of range, why would we be out of range? So again, I don't mind, for example, if, if we're a couple bucks higher and someone says why a couple bucks higher, you know, I'll tell you the exact reason why. Maybe our rent's a bit higher, maybe this is what we had to do because we had to buy some other stuff. But as I said, I'm always kind of straight up on that. I I would encourage anyone if any anyone's doing premiere. I would say about 55 or 54 bucks or $53 or higher. I would honestly ask them why they're that much higher. I'm curious what the answer would be, honestly. But Ian, I collect Matthew's rookie year. And only Matthew's rookie year. Yeah, healthy. You know what? As I said... I'm guessing, and I'm not trying to be rude to him, I'm guessing he doesn't move a lot of hockey because his prices seem to be quite high. But to be honest, though, if he's got a few customers that love shopping with him and they don't buy from anywhere else but him, maybe that's why he does it. Like, we had 5, 6, Series 1 on our shelf for five ninety nine to give you an idea. <laughs> Yeah, so he might not care, to be honest. It's not, I know it sounds bad, but he just might not care about the actual pricing. But there are things, for example, like how much staff you guys have, uh, your location for rent. There's things that go into these. It's not just like, you know, we're two bucks higher. Here's Like, I'll give you a good example. Like, there's other stores, for example, that have like two people running it. We have eight workers here. So right off the bat, like my cost for staff is significantly more than them. So if we're a couple bucks higher, it kind of makes sense. Now, why we're like five to seven to nine dollars cheaper than some? I don't know. Either way, I'm happy about that. It makes me feel good. Not gonna lie. Ian, do you have a do you have a rookie Matthews? His 1920s, surprisingly. What a shocker, eh? Uh Ian, yeah, send us an email. Clusinchargemail.com. I'll try to uh, check it out for you. My favorite product to collect, honestly, I'm a hoarder on 1617 Premier, but I, I don't, that was probably one of my favorite products to do. I did the uh, RPA set, and I love all the Matthew stuff in there. I am absolutely a hoarder on that. Uh, Ovechkin, you've got Calgary, the Maple Leafs, that's it. Perfect healthy. I appreciate that. I will bust those right after. All right. I appreciate that, and I hope I can crush it for you, sir. All right, 12,548. Here we go. Here we go, 12,548. We've got the four box. Ice, ice, baby, 18, 19. And also, for anyone in the room, feel free to ask any questions if you guys want. I always do my best to answer. Whether it be hobby-related or not, I'm more than happy to answer if I can answer for you guys. Green of Rothenden for the Avalanche. $9.99 of Sumela for the Sharks. Sumela. 
I'm calling a 99. I just don't know who. And I'm also going to say Brady Kachuk. Why not, right? Seth Jones for the Blue Jackets. Green. Zach Aston Reese to 499 for the Penguins. And a Rangers exquisite rookie auto of Brett Howden. Cody Glass. Um, I'm sure we have some Cody Glass. I just can't think of any off the top of my head. Ryan O'Reilly for the Blues. Jordan Greenway to 999 sub zero rookie. This is a while. John Gibson for the Anaheim Ducks. Green. And a Dominic Turgeon for the Red Wings. Ice Bears. Uh, Glenn, if we get the approval again, it'll be pretty much right when I go live on uh, premiere release day. Jeff Skinner for the Buffalo Sabres. $12.99 for the Vegas Gold Knights. Zach Whitecloud. Marner Green for the Leafs. Sveshnikov, $9.99 for the Canes. Also, if that uh, grading special goes through again for Premiere, I highly recommend you guys load up on that. I'm telling you guys right now, that is, you guys will have your stuff back in about a week after it goes out. Obviously to us, so it is well worth it to get all the Premiere stuff done immediately. You guys will be first on the marketplace. So... Highly recommend it. McDavid for the Oilers. Green. Sam Steele to 2 dollars for the Anaheim Ducks. That's Patterson pull. Jeez. I'm trying to think. Carlson. Green for the Vegas Golden Knights. Lozon for the Boston Bruins. A four ninety nine. dollars Honestly, it's gotta be, I was thinking the Cup 99. I can't remember any other crazy ones. Monahan Green for the Calgary Flames. Retro rookie to 149. Michael Rasmussen. Yeah, I got the Acetate Future Watch. Remember that one. But I got to go with the 99 Cup. It's pretty much as big as you can get for the most part. Brad Burns for the Sharks. And a 999 Sumela for the Sharks. We've got a Malkin for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Green, William Carlson, ringside signings. Yeah, I saw that, Michelle. That is some female power right there, eh? feel like there's some inside job going on there. Alex to bring at Green for the Hawks. Alex Ovechkin, Sub-Zero for the Cats. Sub-Zero. Somehow, you persuaded her. I don't know what you did. Steve really got it? Maybe that's what it was, Michelle. I'm not, I'm not going to throw out anything out there. I'm just saying. You never know, right? We've got a Jack Eichel for green for the Buffalo Sabres. $12.99, Igor Ozhiganov. You're a middle-aged woman. Oh, middle woman, not middle-aged. I added that one. Not good for me to say that. Lungfist for the Rangers. Green. Ice Premier's Auto of Anders Bjork. To $2.99. Just hit the, re, uh, the rewind on that and just skip it over. And a Rookie Relic Jumbos of Thomas to $1.99 for the Blues. We've got a Matthews Green for the Maple Leafs. And a sub-zero of John Tavares for the Maple Leafs. And again, I always do stay most nights. If you guys have any Matthews rookie year stuff, I am always interested. We got a Tarasenko green for the Blues. And a frozen foursomes of Gibson, Montour, Fowler, Getzlaff for the Ducks. Frozen foursomes. We've got a Couturier for the Philadelphia Flyers. What the heck is wrong with this one? It's like missing color. That's kind of cool. I don't think I've ever seen one like this. A $9.99 for the Red Wings, Joe Hicketts. I want to give some perspective here. Of course, I can't find a freaking rookie. Hello, rookies.
So whoever's got that Hicketts, it's, that's kind of cool. Different for sure. Completely different color. Very light, missing on the top. Interesting. Hmm. We got a green of Dougie Hamilton for the Canes. Miro Heiskanen for the Dallas Stars Sub Zero. All right, last box, Mojo. Hopefully, hasn't been the greatest four boxer we've ever done of ice. That's for sure. We need something to miraculously make this break and everyone go, Owen Wilson, wow. We've got a Matthews Green for the Maple Leafs. And we got a 999 Victor Edsel, Chicago Blackhawks. We've got a green of Longfist for the Rangers, sub zero of Carey Price for the Habs, signature swatches to 150 for the Bruins, Anders Bjork. We've got a Tarasenko green for the Blues, Lundstrom 9.99 for the Ducks, sub zero. We've got a Couturier for the Flyers Green. Donato to $2.99 exquisite for the Boston Bruins. Ryan Donato. We got a Dougie Hamilton Green for the Canes. $12.99 for the Rangers. Tim Gettinger. And last pack mojo is a Ronton in green for the Avalanche. Brady could check the 999 sub zero for the send. There we go. Well, that certainly was not the best four boxer I've seen. I'm presuming the other ones on the shelf will be significantly better. I will probably post that one for tomorrow because that kind of sucked a bit. Not gonna lie. A little bit on the bad side. Post tonight? Yeah, I can do that. I don't know if I'll fill, but let's, uh, you guys don't mind, give me a second. Well, I was going to post it either way, but I might as well do that. Chris, if you don't mind, uh, are you okay waiting a minute? I know you've been uh, uber patient with your two boxes. Now, I'm not saying, for example, folks, that there's a guarantee case hit or anything in there. It's just when I grabbed them off the shelf, I think there's some like seven boxes left, so there must be a case and a half or something on there. I just think it's got to be significantly better than that. But it doesn't take me too, too long to do this. So I'll either do it tonight or tomorrow. Ba, ba, ba. Got to add the spots back in there. All right, so I got a random question as I'm building this. How many of you? Honest collectors have ever been able to convert your significant other to collect with you. And I mean like legit collect, not tolerate it, actually collect. But how many of you guys converted your significant others? I wish. <laughs> she always says I want half. That's kind of converting, though, if you did. I think that's fair. If she gets half, you get half, right? Michelle, were you the converted one, or did, did you convert Steve? Let's 
He was a gamer. Interesting. All right. So I posted this one, by the way. All right. And two SBA 1920s coming up. Oh man, she bought the box. You got the McDavid RPA, and whoo, that's a damn good one to have. All right, Chris, let me know when you're ready, good sir. We are going to crush this, hopefully. All right, good luck. I sense something cool. Here we go, the Real Mahoney's two box break of SBA 1920. All right, anyone wanna make a call? I'm gonna say, I'm going to say, I feel like it's going to be a weird, like, a marks of distinction or something unique. Spectrum of Alex Ovechkin. So I'm going with something unique. Authentic moment of Bennington. Cody Glass, future watch auto. Okay. Future watch spectrum of Flurry for the hats. Future watch spectrum. Chris, what's your call, by the way? You gotta have a call, see if you have any sort of uh, good, kind of, kind of different. Sign of the times, draft, Kyle Turris. Sign of the times, Kyle Turris. Kind of different. We've got a Martinez update. SP Essentials of John Carlson. Kirby Doc, that's a good call. Connor Brown, update. And a patch of nobody. All right. Realistic guess. Very doable. Hopefully it is somebody. Young Guns, Adam Johnson. SP Essentials, John Gibson. Future Watch of Flurry, the non auto. Limited Red Base of Taylor Hall. Update of John A. Goudreau, the All Star. Red of McDavid. Connor McDavid. Red of Claude Giroux. Moment, Tuka Rask. Future Watch Auto, Jake Wallman. Jake Wallman. You wouldn't mind a Chesterkin? All right. I will do my best. Moment of Lungfist. David Ayers, Young Guns. Oh, yeah, David Ayers. It's a fun one. And a SPS Central of Besser for this man of the team. All right. Box number two, sir.
Spectrum Future Watch of Connor Clifton. SP Essentials, Matt Murray. Callie Arncrook, update. Well, ask and you shall receive. Future Watch Auto, Igor Shesterkin. X-ray vision this man has. Jeez. And it looks in decent condition, by the way, so I would maybe recommend getting that one graded. More than happy if you want to do the checkout on that. But holy jeez. Nice call. <laughs> Tyler to Foley. Update. Miro Heiskin in red, limited base. Authentic winners, Wayne Gretzky. That was a pretty epic call, I'm not going to lie. Moment Sedano Chara to literally pinpoint an autograph of a guy and hit it. SP Essentials of Barkov. Maybe get a patch now. <laughs> Soderberg for the Coyotes update. It's never enough, is it, Michelle? It's never enough. Logan Couture Red. SP Essentials of Panarin. Young Guns of Clag. Hell, Clag. Limited Red Base of Shifley. Update All Star of Stamkos. Should be, I think, be one more auto in this, right? I believe so. Moments of Stamkos. Future Watch Auto, Connor Clifton. Future Watch Auto, Connor Clifton. And a Spectrum of Stone. There you go, sir. Well, that was a healthy break for you. B E A Beautiful. No worries, thank you. And again, if you do need uh, the grading, just do the checkout, put in the notes which one it's obviously for, which I'm presuming would be the Shesterkin, and we can get that shipped out and sent out to you. See, that is a beauty. So, by the way, we've had quite a few spots taken in the ice break. Uh, if you guys want that to go tonight... We would need a few more spots to keep going. We we're at 20 spots left. If anyone wants to get the ball rolling on that, if not, I said uh, that'll be the end of the night. I'll get the breaks up for you guys for tomorrow. But we have only 20 spots left. That's impressive, Matt. Honestly, that's you should be super proud of that. That's a pretty, uh, pretty big accomplishment. And honestly, I think you're doing the right thing. That is a great investment long term.
So good on you. Oh, everyone likes young guns, right? So it's never a bad one to have. By the way, we're at 18 left. If you guys want to keep this going, let's get a few more spots rolling on this bad boy. So if you guys wanted to go tonight, we'll uh, I'll give it to about 10, 25, 10, 30 to get the ball rolling. If not, this will be a tomorrow project. Um, I do have a $49 mix tomorrow that we are giving away a Premier Tin. So I highly recommend, folks, you guys join that um, because, again, that is a stupidly good deal. So, again, I highly, highly, highly recommend you guys look at that one um, because that is crazy good value. All right. So, anyone else want to make a last-minute push on this? And also, since for you guys for sticking around, I do appreciate this. I will be, and this is obviously just for you guys to know on here, but we didn't announce on Facebook. I will be launching two 10-box Premier cases that are fresh for you guys. So, um, right when I get off, you guys will have the first shot at all the teams. As a thank you for sticking around tonight, you guys will have... Uh, a few more opportunities to get your team in Premier. So that'll be launched right after I am done for the night, which sadly it looks like ice has kind of hit the standstill. Ian, the one tomorrow, it's a team random. So $49 team random. All right. Well, it looks like that wall got hit a little quicker. <laughs> are you guys ready for me just to post the breaks for tomorrow? Is that what you guys uh, are interested in? All right, well, that answers uh, my question pretty much there. All right, so, folks, I will uh, get the ball rolling on the breaks for tomorrow. I'm going to launch it. I'm very excited, Rich. I'm excited because I think this draft uh, class is going to be pretty pretty damn good. So, not going to lie, I'm pretty excited for it. I'm uh, just launching all the breaks right now, guys. So, give me a second. Might as well do that while we're talking. All right, all the breaks I think are now launched. I think so, Rich. I think they got a lot of wheeling and dealing they can do. We'll find out. I, I, I like to not try to get my hopes up for those kind of things because sometimes when you get super excited of like, they have to do something and then nothing happens, you're kind of like, okay, this sucked. So I'm going to just going to enjoy it, enjoy the whole draft, have fun with it, and just kind of go from there. 
But ladies and gentlemen, the breaks are all up for tomorrow. I do encourage you guys to take a very good look at that st uh, stack Saturday mix with a premier tin giveaway. Clear cuts up there, ice is up there, trilogy is low, and then SPX. And then, uh, yeah, it'll be a crazy cap crunch this year. And maybe over the next couple of years, it'll be interesting. But with that being said, folks, see you guys tomorrow afternoon at 2.30 p.m. Eastern time. And have a great one. Keep well.